Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Porto and they take on Morirense. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, I'm looking forward to some long shooting because he's a specialist. Just watch how he tees the ball up, has a short bat lift, which makes it very difficult to work out when he's going to shoot. Then all of a sudden, it pings off his boot on the way to goal. Here's the starting 11 for Porto. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. This is how the visitors will set up today. It does look as though they will mirror their opponents with a conventional 4-4-2 formation, Lee. Yeah, and when you go against a 4-4-2 and you're playing it yourself, you match up in midfield, that's the important area. Sometimes when you play two midfield players, you can get outnumbered when a number 10 comes in between you, but it's not the case today. It's all about individuals against individuals. Who's going to come out on top? Sergio Oliveira. A successful intervention, winning the ball back. Oh, nice ball. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. And unable to keep the ball. Jesus Corona. Marega. Possession seeded by Porto. Conte. Philippe Suarez. And he takes it away. Mehdi Karami. Ottavio now. He has time to play it over. Marega. Can he put them in front? Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. He's going forward well here. Alert defending. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he's made headway. It's got to be pivotal moment defensively. Mateo Suribe. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Oh, it might be. And there it is. The opening goal. 1-0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt.
1-0 then. Sergio Oliveira. Otavio. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Crossing opportunity. Marega. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Fantastic possession stats for Porto, but it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. This could be the equaliser, and it is the equaliser! Well now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Fabio Pacheco. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good-looking move. Taremi. Musa Marega has it. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Fruitful looking attack. And there it is, the half time whistle. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Pacheco. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Marega. The ball with Jesus Corona. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And space to cross it. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Terrific block there. Can't get the shot through. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Options in the middle. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Marega. Sergio Oliveira. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Substitution time it is. <laughs> A 
Alex Swarsch. Fabio Pacheco. Chance to play it in. And the goal kick is the outcome. Jesus Corona. Lovely ball over the top. Will he finish? Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Alberto well he could really get at the opposition this looks promising oh nice ball Fabio Pacheco well read to put an end to that attack inside the last quarter of an hour Taremi Marega Can they get themselves in front here? Couldn't grab hold of it Crucial intervention just then Amid impending danger And a throw in forthcoming And they're making a change teammates to play it to it might be on for them it's opening up for them must take the lead here but it can't get through over the touchline for a throw in they will now make use of the substitutes bench Wilson Manafa and options in the centre high quality defending so a throw in here well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Promising pass. Can they grab the lead late on? Options in the centre. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Well, that is a defender's job to come to the rescue. A good looking move. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated.